Hey guys, welcome to Boss Picture. I'm James Warney, and for today's episode, I will be showing you how to remove stretch marks in Photoshop. As you can see, stretch marks are somewhat red and different from the rest of the surrounding areas of the skin. Uh, the texture can also be quite different. This is a two-step process. First step is we need to remove as much of the redness as possible. And afterwards, we're going to use the healing brush tool to remove the actual stretch marks. Okay, first things first, we need to create a hue saturation adjustment layer. And we'll need to select the red channel as opposed to staying on the master channel, because if we stay on the master channel, this is what happens if we increase the saturation up or down. As you can see, it actually affects all areas of the image. So we move on to the red channel. And for demonstration purposes, I will increase the saturation really far to the right. Uh, let's say 62. And as you can see, a lot of the stretch marks have been highlighted in red. But the problem is, of course, it's affecting other areas of the skin, which shows a lot of blotchiness here, as you can see. So the secret is the bottom slider here. As you can see, the middle section here, if I just move this and stretch it further, the middle section is actually targeting the red channel, which is great. Uh, the left-hand side, as well as the right-hand side, we need to bring these inward like this, like so. Uh-huh. And then just a little bit more from either end. Okay, so now, as you can see, the red uh, areas are targeting the stretch marks only. If I move the slider to the left, nothing happens. If I move it to the right, as you can see, once again, it's just the red stretch marks that are highlighted. And that is exactly what we want. So now we go to the saturation slider, put that back to zero, press enter. Okay. Now the hue and also the lightness sliders are what we want to play with. If we move the hue slider to the right hand side, you can see the stretch marks are losing their redness. And we keep going until, uh oh. Now 26 is a bit too high, 25, so we need to reduce that to about 15, and then also the lightness slider, if we move it to the right-hand side. Okay, I think about there, because if we go too far to the right, as you can see, it doesn't look too good. So we want about, let's see, yeah, about 12, and that's fine. So now that is actually all the coloring done. We've managed to reduce the redness, and now we can tackle the actual stretch marks. We need to select a new layer at the bottom of the screen, select new layer. And now we need to use our healing brush tool. And we select that here. And we need to choose a brush size, say about 53, and hardness is down to zero. Okay, now the brush size in effect really should be, when you, whenever you tackle anything, should be slightly bigger than what you're trying to adjust or paint on. So in this case, what I need to do now is to select Alter option on my keyboard on a good area of the skin. Let me zoom in a bit. Let's say here, and then I can paint away the actual stretch mark. As you can see, I'm painting along the lines of the actual stretch marks themselves to give a more accurate or seemingly look. Up here is a mole, I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to speed this video up a bit.
Okay guys, now the stretch marks have all been removed, as you can see. Now I'm just going to select it all and just group the layers. And here is our before and here is our after. Before, after, before, after. Okay, just to recap, we targeted the redness initially of the stretch marks by using a hue saturation adjustment layer. And the secret was the slider right at the bottom of the adjustment. In effect, moving the outer left and outer right portion of the bottom slider inwards, which then targeted the reds even further. And secondly, we then used a healing brush to remove the stretch marks, sampling on the good areas of the skin and then painting onto the actual stretch marks. Okay guys, I hope you liked the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share the link with your friends. Uh, thank you very much for watching Boss Picture and I'll boss you later. Bye bye.